Good day everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and for this week topic, we're gonna talk about graphing systems of linear inequalities into variables. And the math for this week is solves a system of linear inequalities into variables. And for our objectives, at the end of this video, you are expected to first solve system of linear inequalities into variables. Second, graph system of linear inequalities into variables. Now let's start discussing about graphing systems of linear inequalities into variables. Let's just have a quick recap about inequality signs. So we have here greater than, less than, greater than or equal, and less than or equal. So if the inequality symbol is greater than or less than, then draw a dotted line. And if the inequality symbol is greater than or equal, or less than or equal, then draw a solid line. Alright? And for you to further understand, I have here the definition. System of linear inequalities. If the two lines intersect at one point, the plane is divided into four areas. The solution could be found in one of these areas. Often graphing and looking for overlapping areas is easier than looking at points in each region. The set of all solutions of a system of linear inequalities is called its solution set. To graph the solution set for a system of linear inequalities in two variables, first, we need to shade the half plane of solutions for each inequality in the system. Second, the solution of the system of inequalities is in the intersection of the half planes. So here are the steps in solving system of inequalities into variables by graphing. First, draw the graph of each inequality on the same coordinate plane using y equals mx plus b. Second, choose at least two points or coordinates on the plane and set as a test point in order to determine the solution of the inequality. Use 0, 0 test. Third, shade the appropriate half plane. Fourth, the region where shaded areas overlap is the graphical solution to the system. If the graph do not overlap, the system has no solution. Let's take an example. So 3x plus 4y is greater than negative 4. Second inequality, x plus 2y is less than 2. We need to put in slope intercept 4. For our first inequality, 3x plus 4y is greater than negative 4, we need to isolate y. So transpose 3x to the right side of the given inequality. So 4y is greater than negative 3x minus 4. We need to divide both sides by 4. So y is greater than negative 3 4 x minus 1. For second inequality, x plus 2y is less than 2. Again, we need to isolate y and transpose x to the right side of the given inequality. So 2y is less than negative x plus 2. Two. We need to divide both sides by 2 to get the value of y. So y is less than negative 1 half x plus 1. Now let's continue. So here are the two slope intercept form of our given inequality. Now let's graph each line. Make dotted or solid and shade the correct area. So how do we determine the type of line to draw? Alright, always remember class that when we are using a greater than or a less than symbol, the type of line to draw is dotted line. So for our first inequality, so we have here greater than symbol, so dotted line. And second inequality, we have here less than, so we have a dotted line. Now let's draw the graph of each given inequality. So first inequality and the slope intercept form is y is greater than negative 3 fourth x minus 1. So magmadali na natin siyang mag-graph since we already know the slope and the y-intercept. 
intersect. So the slope here is negative 3 fourths and the y-intercept is negative 1. So again, plus, gagamit tayo ng dotted line here since ang symbol na meron tayo dito ay greater than. And for the shaded part, always remember that if the inequality is in the form of y is greater than mx plus b or y is greater than or equal to mx plus b, the shaded part is above the line. Alright? For our second given inequality, the slope intercept form is y less than negative 1 half x plus 1. Again, mas madali natin siyang mag-graph since we already know the slope which is negative 1 half and the y-intercept which is 1. So, ito yung magiging graph niya. So, ito yung uh, second given inequality, yung brown dotted line. Again, dotted line kasi tumangit tayo ng plus than symbol. And how about the shaded part? So, ang inequality form natin is y is less than mx plus b. So, the shaded part is below the line. So, ito magiging shaded Now, after graphing the two given inequalities, let's find the region where the graphs overlap. So, the area between the green arrows is the region of overlap and that's the solution. Alright? The solution of the system are 2, negative 2, 5, negative 6, negative 1 and 0, and so on. So, yung solution of the system natin or the ordered pairs na nandun sa green shaded region natin. So, yun yung mga ordered pair na masasatisfy dun sa given inequalities natin. Alright? Another example. Graph the system to x plus 5y is less than 10 and x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, let's determine the type of line to draw. So, in our first given inequality, so gumamit tayo dito or nakikita natin na meron tayong less than symbol. So, ang line natin ay dotted lines. Alright. Now, in our second given inequality, so meron tayo dito greater than or equal to symbol. So, ang line natin ay solid lines. So, very good. Now, let's graph. First, Solve and plot the intercepts. So, in our first example, nakapag-graph tayo by changing the given inequality into slope-intercept form. And then, kinuha natin yung slope and then y-intercept. But now, let's use another way in graphing this inequality. And that is by getting the x and the y-intercept. So, now, kapag kukunin natin yung x-intercept, let y equals 0. So, 2x plus 5 times 0 is less than 10. So, 2x less than 10, we need to divide both sides by 2. So, x is less than 5. So, ang x-intercept natin is 5. Now, kunin natin yung y-intercept. So, let x equals 0. So, 2 times 0 plus 5y is less than 10. So, 5y is less than 10. We need to divide both sides by 5. So, y is less than 2. Now, since nakuha na natin yung x and y intercept, 5 and 0, and 0 and 1, let's pick a test point. So, ang test point natin is 0 and 0. So, it's a substitute lang natin yung test point natin dun sa given inequality. So, 2 times 0 plus 5 times 0 is less than 10. So, 0 is less than 10. So, this is a true statement. Alright? Now, let's graph the solution set for the system. So, the y form of 2x plus 5y is less than 10. So, ang x-intercept natin is 5. So, ang order here is 5 and 0. So, here's the point. And then, ang y-intercept natin is 2. So, ang ordered pair natin is 0 and 2. Okay? Now, let's draw a line, a dotted line. How about the shaded region? Since ang test point natin is 0 and 0, and true statement yung nakuha natin, ang shaded region natin ay below the line. Alright? So, this is the graph for 2x plus 5y is less than 10. Okay? Now, let's proceed to our second given inequality, which is x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, first, let's solve and plot the intercepts. 
So, kukunin natin yung x-intercept. So, let y equals to 0. So, x minus 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. x is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, ang x-intercept natin is negative 4. How about the y-intercept? So, let x equals to 0. So, 0 minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, negative 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Since meron tayong negative y here, kailangan natin siyang maging positive. So, we need to multiply both sides by negative 1. So, y is less than or equal to 4. So, once na nag-multiply or divide tayo ng negative number, always remember na nag-change din yung ating inequality symbol. So, from greater than or equal to, naging less than or equal na siya. Okay? So, ang y-intercept natin is 4. Now, for our test point, 0 and 0, i-substitute lang natin yung 0 or the ordered pair 0 and 0 sa ating given inequality. So, 0 minus 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, 0 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, that is a proof state. Okay? Now, let's graph the solution set for the system. The y form of x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, ang x-intercept natin is negative 4. Ordered pair is negative 4 and 0. So, here. And then, the y-intercept is 4. Or, ang ordered pair natin is 0 and 4. So, draw a solid line. And since ang test point natin ay nag-true statement, so, ang ating shaded part ay below the line. Alright, so this is the graph for x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, observe the graph. The solution set of the system of inequalities is the region shaded, both the red and blue, including part of the line x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Again, this is the graph for 2x plus 5y less than 10. And this is the graph for x minus y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Always remember, class, that the solution set is the overlapping parts or colors, such as 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 1, 1, negative 3, and negative 3, and so on. Alright? Now, let's try. Graph the solution set for the system. x plus y is greater than or equal to 3. x minus y is less than 1. Now, graph the solution set for x plus y is greater than or equal to 3. So, again, this is a solid line because of the inequality symbol greater than or equal. Alright? And we can use the test point 0 and 0 to determine the shaded part. So, here, the shaded part is above the line. Next, graph the solution set for x minus y is less than 1. So, again, dash line yung gagamitin natin because of less than symbol. Alright? Again, gumamit tayo ng test point which is 0 and 0 to determine the shaded part. So, here, the shaded part is above the line. So, the solution set of the system of inequalities is the region shaded both red and blue, including part of the line x plus y is greater than or equal to 3, such as 1, 5, negative 2, 10, 0, and 5. Alright? Now, try 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. Negative 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. So, pwede nyo i-post tong video natin para makapagsagot kayo. Alright? Now, this is the graph for 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. And this is the graph for negative 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. Now, the two half planes do not intersect. Therefore, the solution set is the empty set. Okay? That's all for today, graded students. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.